Hi, I'm Sean Hall here. I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, the Shining Aerial Scan 3's new very, very awesome um, built-in splint designer. The Cree splint uh, only works if you have an orthodontics type scan. Um, so if you scanned and you chose restoration when you did the scan, but you'd like to go in and use the Cree splint module to make a bite splint, just double click the order, hit edit, change it to orthodontics, and hit save. Then hit back and reopen it. And now we can go into pre design and we can choose Cree splint. Uh, so Let's do this. I need an ortho case. And then we go to pre design. And I click my three dots here. And I'm going to choose Cree Splint. Gonna choose a night guard or return a retainer. It's up to you. I'm gonna do a night guard. We're gonna put it on the maxilla. All right. So now it's gonna load in the models so that it can build the virtual bite splint onto them. Uh, it might take a few seconds. Uh, basically, the speed is highly connected to the speed of your individual computer system that you're running this on. Specifically, the graphics card. Uh, their built-in tool here is really awesome. Basically does everything for you. And if you have your printer software uh, installed on your scanner computer, it'll also just send it right off to the printer, which is super handy. Um, if you don't, I'll show you how to export the Byte Splint STL file. So you can just move it into your printer software on another computer, either toss it on a thumb drive or send it over your network drive or whatnot. Um, it's a small file. If you want to, you could email it to yourself and go open your email on the other computer. Um, so you see it generated both uh, upper and lower byte splint. Uh, you can mess around with anything here if you want to adjust it, but I found it usually does a great job just on its own um, without messing around with any of the parameters. Like you can adjust the thickness of it. Um, like Blue Sky Plan aims for like a three millimeter thickness. 1.5 millimeter works pretty good with the Keystone software. Um, if you don't like how low it brought everything, you can adjust the margin line. So like you could take this and you could lower these. You can even mess around with how it generated it to begin with. Um, so if you're doing this, right, you just drag all these dots down. Kind of all based on if you don't like how that cut was for the fit. Right click to move your model around. find this a little tedious. I wish it would just let me generate the margin line myself from the beginning. Um, Cause it, it likes to put it right down on gingiva. Some people do not like that. Like some people specifically like here, If you don't want it making contact with the palette.
I think with the defaults, you're going to get a working bite splint. But me personally. So you do realize that what you're doing right here is basically you're doing what you would do if you were uh, trimming the bite splint after doing a suck down. You know, uh, it's just we're actually doing the trimming before we make the object, which is handy. I'm not going to bother with the other uh, margin line because I only want this model anyway. I'm going to hit the confirm button. And you can see here it's going to see what it's way up here now. It'll bring it all down to that margin line I gave it. See that? So like I said, if you've got the printer attached, you can just hit go to print at this point, and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, if you do not have the AccuWare print software installed on your computer, or if you're unfortunately not using the Shiding uh, 3D resin printer, um, which, by the way, you should be, because it's probably substantially less expensive than whatever 3D printer you're using in the dental world. Um, so you can see we can just send this right off. We can choose which one we want. Like I'm, I'm not going to send the lower sprint. And I can send this. I, I can choose all my resins right here. Obviously, no, I would be printing this with Keystone, uh, soft splint, or the new splint material from Shining. Um, but you want to choose your material before you send it over. It's going to open up AccuWare. Um, I'll do these updates later. And there you go, loaded it in here. And then you can just hit the magic wand and choose splint and hit generate. There you go. Builds all your bridges, builds a nice flat platform. It's ready to rock and roll. You can just hit print and you're good to go. Um, so like I said, if you don't, if you have a shining AOL scan three, uh, and your printer is on the network, um, it's really easy to do. Just install the AccuWare software to uh, the scanner computer so you can use this feature. Then you just hit print. Uh, you can also save it. And it would literally save all the slice files for you, and you could take those on a thumb drive over to the computer. Um, but obviously, hopefully your printer's just attached. Um, now, let's say you wanted to send that byte splint out to your printer, but you know for whatever reason you didn't put the AccuWare software on uh, the same computer as your scanner. Uh, what we can do here is actually uh, we're gonna go back to scan. Oh no, don't do that. Aha. Don't go back to scan. Um, we are going to go to send first. I'm re log in because apparently my login expired. And then I'll just reopen that patient I was in, which was this Alley H Orthodontics. Um, I can actually export. And when I export, uh, it'll also export the byte split model. I'll show you that. When you do an export, it'll also pop open the folder uh, that it just sent all the files to, which is pretty convenient for being able to find them or drop them onto a thumb drive if you got to walk it over to another computer. So you can see it popped open this folder. Um, so what I would do is click on splint data there. This, uh, this file right here is what you'd want to drop on a thumb drive or put on your network drive and take over to the print, the computer that has your uh, 3D printer software on it. Um, and just drop this splint into the software 
the same way I did automatically. You can see it's there it is. There's the splint. So it's a super easy process. That's uh, how to make a bite splint uh, right out of the ARL Scan 3 software. Thank you for learning with me today. I am Sean Hall with Sodium Dental. And this has been my video tutorial on how to use the new Shining 3D module Cree Splint to design and print night guards right out of your free intraoral scan software that came with your AOL Scan 3 wired or wireless scanner. Always buy your Shining products from Sodium Dental because we will always be the best price and we are constantly expanding the video knowledge base we make available to our customers with convenient trainings like these on all the new modules and other third-party design softwares that you may want to use to make your intraoral scanner more useful and productive in your practice.